So, hello, Liana. Um, just a couple quick questions. Uh, is your name Liana Bravo? Yes. Are you married with children? Yes. Um, what's your occupation? I'm a full-time student and full-time mother once I come home. And uh, your major in school? International studies. Oh, perfect. So there's some um, questions I will ask in this interview um, about nutritional, about nutrition and and uh, other behaviors. So uh, we'll just get started. Okay. <clears throat> How well do you know um, the recommended standards for healthy nutrition and eating? One being none and seven being very competent. Seven. How willing are you to make changes in your nutritional eating patterns in the next four weeks? One being not willing, seven being absolutely willing. Can I say six and a half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, how ready prepared are you to make changes in, in your nutritional eating patterns in the next four weeks? One being not ready at all and seven being absolutely ready. Six and a half. <laughs> For me, eating all of my meals according to the recommended standards regularly over the next four weeks would be one, impossible, and seven, being easy. Six. Perfect. Um, these are uh, yes and no questions. Okay. Uh, most of my friends eat healthy. Mm. No. Most of my family members eat healthy. I'm going to count that as my husband and my children <laughs> and go, yes. Um, it says here, my spouse eats healthy. Yes, for the uh, most part. <laughs> one being strongly disagree and seven being strongly agree. Most people in my social network want me to eat healthy in the next four weeks. Yes. How confident are you that you will be able to eat healthy in the next four weeks? One being unconfident and seven being confident. Well, it's the fact that Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, <laughs> I'll say six. I'm working on it. How confident are you that you could overcome obstacles that prevent you from eating healthy in the next four weeks? Seven being completely confident. I'm going to say another six. I believe I have the ability to eat healthy in the next four weeks. Seven being definitely do, and one definitely do not. Seven. Um, if you could answer with three different strategies for this question, it would be great. Uh, what kinds of strategies have you done in the past to change your nutritional eating patterns? Um, well, first of all, I make a meal plan, and so when I go grocery shopping, I try to stick to that. And that way I know during the week what I is or what it is that I'm, I need to make. And so it keeps me from snacking on just what it, random things. Um, second, I'm doing my best to prep my snacks. And um, I would like to get to the point where I can prep my meals as well, at least to the best of my ability for convenience sake. Um, so I can be more able to include fruits and vegetables. And then the last one is um, I just try to include fruits and vegetables as best as I can, like whether it's, you know, lime and, or lemon in um, my water or um, or even just fruits and, like, spinach in a smoothie, okay. just things like that. Is your current body composition affecting your life right now? If so, how? Yes. Um, I feel like I've really let myself go, and I'm starting to really realize that because I'm taking exercise classes and I don't like what I see in the mirror. Um, but I am working on that, and it's just based off the determination to really take control of myself because I don't think I've ever really done that. Um, I've just kind of seen weight as, oh, it'll come off, and it's something really easy, and now it kind of hit me today actually that it's going to take a lot of work because it's not coming off as fast as I would like for it to, but um, it's a struggle and it's been a struggle, but I know I can do it, so I have to do it for me. Are you willing to keep a nutritional intake log and have you ever kept one before? I'm currently doing that for one of my classes 
it's a whole lot harder than I thought it would be. But um, also just because for the fact that it's, you know, I have to log every little thing that I stick in my mouth. Um, but at the same time, I think it's making me more conscious of what I do eat and um, trying to keep my calories down. It makes me realize that, you know, if I do want to lose weight, then I have to be conscious of that and look at what types of foods I'm sticking in my mouth as well and not just carbs and other things that really are not going to help with that process. Okay. How would you rate your knowledge of proper nutrition and, and, and its relationship to weight management? One being not at all, and seven being very knowledgeable. Seven. How well do you feel you know the recommended standards of exercise to prevent disease and those to promote weight loss? Seven being very competent. Six. How willing are you to participate in an exercise fitness program? Seven being absolutely willing. Seven. How ready prepared are you to incorporate a daily exercise program in your routine? Seven being absolutely ready. Seven. These are uh, yes and no, these uh, next three. Um, oh, I'm sorry, there's one more. For me, exercising regularly over the next four weeks would be Six, being stressful. Five, relaxing. Four, unenjoyable. Three, enjoyable. Two, boring. One, interesting. Those are not going in any regular order. Okay. Yeah. What was that? Uh, one is interesting. Two is boring. Three, enjoyable. Four, unenjoyable. Five, relaxing. Six, stressful. Uh, I'm going to say three, enjoyable. Okay. Um, these are yes and no. Most of the... Most of my friends exercise regularly, yes or no? No. Most of my family members exercise regularly, yes or no? Yes. My spouse exercises regularly, yes or no? Yes. Most people in my social network want me to exercise regularly in the next four weeks, seven being strongly agree. Four? How confident are you that you will be able to exercise regularly in the next four weeks? Seven being very confident. Seven. Thank you. You are your <laughs> I believe I have the ability to exercise regularly in the next four weeks. Seven being definitely do. Seven. What specific types of aerobic exercises do you enjoy and dislike? Um, I enjoy swimming. Um, it's my favorite. Not only is it light, but I also feel like it works on my breathing. Um, and I feel that it works the whole entire body. Um, I also like um, the rowing like the rowing machines, um, and I enjoy the stationary bikes, not the cycling bikes, the stationary bikes. <laughs> Those are really nice. Um, I also like to dance because that can be cardio. Things that I don't like, clearly, um, the cycling bikes because those hurt. Um, and then also I don't really like doing stairs or running, jogging, jumping jacks. I'll do them, but they're not the most enjoyable or high knees. I'll get over it, and they'll become my favorite someday, but not right now. Are there any resistance training exercises that you like or dislike? Um, actually, I really like resistance training. I enjoy crunches. Um, not the setups, but like the crunches. Um, I like deadlifts and uh, deadlift squats. Those are fun. And then um, I also enjoy working on the weightlifting machines and the dumbbells. And I also like working with the um, exercise balls, um, like with lifting weights and things like that. Those are always fun. All right, cool. Uh, what, bar what barriers in the past have prevented you from engaging in consistent exercise regimens? Uh, mostly self-esteem. Um, I would always get really nervous going to the gym by myself. Um, I would always feel self-conscious, even if I was, if I went with someone and listening to music, like I just said, knowing that someone was there um, for that support system. Um, also, well, I guess you throw self-image in there because I wasn't really confident in myself and I always felt like everyone was watching me. <laughs> and, you know, all these people with like the great lean, fit bodies and here I was with not so great lean and fit. And so I guess that really played into it. Um, also just time, I think, and determination to go, um, cause I would always find excuses like laundry or kids or I'm tired and I want to sleep and I don't want to get up cause the bed might not 
accept me again. Um, things like that, but. Okay. Yeah. Um, how confident are you over the next four weeks that you could overcome obstacles that will prevent you from exercises regularly? Seven being absolutely uh, confident. Seven. Um, Six and a half. If you could list three of what are your top three outcomes you want from participating in a workout program? Okay, so my top three outcomes, and I'll just say this in a long-term workout program, is that I want to definitely lose weight. Um, I put on a lot of weight with my kids after they were born, so I want to lose the weight. Um, I also want to become lean. So weight's not just the issue, like it's more size, but I do know that as I lose sizes, then the weight's gonna come off to a certain extent. Um, so I wanna be fit, which is something that I've never really been in my life. So um, there's one and two. And then also, I just want to really establish the habit of exercise, because I do enjoy exercising. I just don't, I haven't really made it a habit and given it that importance. And I realize as I'm getting older that not it's not so much that exercise is, itself is important as much as it is that i'm devoting time to work on myself and so i'm important to me and so that's why i need to exercise because it helps me okay um and in the next four weeks my goal is to exercise seven being every day and one being not at all six let's say every most of the week five days out of the week these are two questions to finish up uh, for commitment. Are you willing to accept the fact that there is no magic answer and that I have to learn to problem solve what I eat and how much I move until I find the balance that promotes maintaining a weight that is healthy and that I am happy with? Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> um, so that there's no magic answer that if you are willing to um, be be active and, and move till you find the balance that promotes a healthy weight. Yes. <laughs> because of the answers you provided, how willing are you to participate in a lifestyle change experience for the next 13 weeks? Um, very. I'm trying to make my own right now with the BYUI classes. Um, and I'm also working on my own diet. Um, before this semester started, I kind of made my own meal plan schedule type thing with, um, with an outline, especially for breakfast and lunch. Um, dinners are a little bit harder just because my kids don't eat healthy, like green foods. Like I really want them to. Um, so it's mostly dinner that's a battle for that. Um, but in general, yeah, I definitely want to do that. Like I said, I want to do that for me and also for my family. Because if I'm sick, then I can't really enjoy them. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for giving me your time. And is it okay for me to upload this uh, for my health behavior models and theories class? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome.